This is Dormouse 03 continuing my Max Payne 3 old school walkthrough. And this is chapter 8, uh, the last of the New Jersey flashbacks. So uh, you start off, you're in this cemetery, and <laughs> this gravestone that you're behind isn't fantastic cover, but luckily there aren't a whole lot of guys. Um, but that is not true of this next sequence, and, uh, and this level can be deceptively challenging. It's um, a little over halfway through the game, and um, and it, it's, it's kind of tough. So, uh, and the reason that it's tough is, <laughs> for the most part, because there's too much stuff in your way and you can't see where enemies are. So right now, um, there are guys coming all around. So there are guys on the right here that I'm shooting and then I keep getting <laughs> shot by people on the left. So those douchebags over there uh, <laughs> kept shooting at me. And so um, just be aware that uh, if you go up the middle <laughs> like I did, uh, there will be guys on both sides of you. And, uh, and it's just something to be aware of. So this is um, the kind of antithesis to what I was talking about in Chapter 6. Uh, so if you watched uh, the videos from Chapter 6, I was kind of harping on a little bit about how there wasn't a lot of good cover in that chapter and that made it kind of tougher than it would have been otherwise. And this is the exact opposite of that. There is a lot of cover, um, and in fact there's too much stuff. And it sort of impedes your ability to see enemies in some spots. And there are a couple of places in this where you just have, you're set at a dis disadvantage because it's really dark, there's lots of stuff in your way, you can't see where enemies are, and you have, um, like this section right here, a height disadvantage a lot of times. So the first thing you want to do in this spot, because this can be a sort of annoying area, you want to kill that guy who was um, up in the middle uh, shooting the grenades because he is just an evil bastard. Um, the splash damage on those grenades is unbelievable. Uh, so you want to kill him quickly. And then after you kill him, you want to make sure that the guys on the ground uh, on your level are dead. And then take out these people on uh, either side of this uh, staircase. So, <laughs> again, it, it can be hard for you to, to get them because um, they like to stay in cover. There's It's hard to see them through the... Um, through those columns uh, within the staircase. They're on a higher level than you, so that's a disadvantage for you. And um, yeah, they can just be kind of annoying. So uh, you want to try to clean them up as best you can, but I don't know. I got a little impatient with this guy hiding, and he, he, he hurt me a lot, and I, I ended up paying for that and having to take a painkiller, but I was done with this section because uh, I died a couple of times here and <laughs> I was ready to have it over with. So I went and I picked up this guy's grenade launcher, uh, which I will use to help clear out the guys up in this next segment because this next section can be just, I mean, it's a pain because there's no real good spot for you to get, um, to take these guys out because once again, there, there's too much of this shit in your way. There, there's too many graves. Um, you're coming upstairs into an area where you can't tell where people are going to be. And if you stay too long down here, uh, guys will sometimes flank you. So there, there are guys that will come out from the, the staircase over here where I'm headed now to the right. And... I don't know, it was just, it was just evil, and <laughs> I failed miserably with that grenade and hurt myself, and can't believe I didn't die, but <laughs> anyway, um, I'm trying to 
toss some of these grenades up here, and I don't know if any of them actually kill anybody. Um, there, that got someone. When you hear people scream, you know that you've blown someone up. So that helped a little bit. Um, not as effective as it probably could have been if I had been a little bit more accurate with my uh, grenading. But uh, once again, I wanted to stay in cover and, and do it and not kind of poke out. So I couldn't really tell where people were standing. And I was just trying to have some blind guesswork going on there. And yeah, this section, it sucks because there are several guys up here. And any one of them has the potential to sneak up on you and, and kill you. Um, because... I can't tell where they are uh, because most of them are wearing dark suits and it's at night and they look like gravestones until they're moving so in any case that's the end of that section it kind of sucks yeah I don't know if uh, people who play Mass Effect 3 are the same people that play Max Payne 3 but in a walkthrough that I did for that game, I was talking about something similar, which is, I think in a bunch of these third-person shooters, they have some problems with putting too much cover in some sections, or, or having some areas where there's just too much shit in your way, and you can't effectively deal with the situation simply because you can't see where enemies are, and I think that can be a problem, but... In any case, uh, this next section can be kind of tricky because you have to immediately shoot at these guys or else they're going to kill Passos and you'll fail. So you have to immediately start shooting at them, try to get headshots, try to kill or incapacitate as many of them as you can, and then you need to go get into cover uh, because these guys will light you up as they are doing to me. And... Uh, once you get into cover, though, and as long as you've taken out a fair number of these guys, you can then wait for them to come around and sort of pick them off. So that is what I'm going to proceed to do right now. Um, I thought, I had a thought <laughs> as I was playing this, that um, I had kind of wished that I had saved my grenade launcher, or at least um, a grenade or two from that grenade launcher. Uh, for this section because when it starts off there are a bunch of guys standing right there and <laughs> the car exploded and I thought he killed me and so I stood there for a second waiting for the fail or that dead screen to come up <laughs> but it was the other car um, so I, I trimmed out a little bit there I had sort of wandered around aimlessly in this section a little more than I wanted to but yeah, I had the thought that I wanted to save uh, some grenade launcher for that section right there. And I tried it in, in my hardcore playthrough that I have, have just um, gotten past this chapter, actually, uh, in that playthrough currently. And it didn't work as fantastically as I, as I thought it was going to because it automatically switched him back to his uh, pistols or his um, submachine gun and it was it was just it was a little unwieldy to try to switch to the grenade launcher and fire quick enough to get their attention before they killed Passos and uh, I, I got it to work kind of but it didn't it wasn't as pretty as I as I thought it was gonna be so anyway this section right here can be a little tricky because you don't want to go up push forward then I, I am right here and the guys don't really rush you as much as <laughs> I would kind of like them to they sort of stay hidden and that there's this douchebag right there um, who uh, has gotten the drop on me before but not this time sir uh, so you want to be careful of him and you want to just be tentative in, in that section because they can surprise you. And that asshole had a shotgun and, yeah, he'll mess you up. So you want to be careful of that guy through the little window to the right. Um, 
but yeah so we're, I'm coming up to the end of this video I'm going to uh, finish this chapter in the next video so I'll trim out the cutscene here and we'll start with the uh, section where you have to shoot the guy who's about to shoot Passos and continue on through there and that is a pretty difficult fight right then as well so uh, yeah more challenging things to come this level is sort of tough and we will get to it so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video I didn't mind saying goodbye to this place whacked out on meds